Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. I hope you're very well. So here it is, the first board. Well, it's not going in exactly like I thought. Um, if you remember on the last video, I explained I wanted that curve edge. Uh, it's transpiring that it's not going to do that, which to be honest is no big deal. If it's straight, it's straight. Um, so I've got a few more, I've got a few more to put in. So just marking these out, these screw holes, they are, I'm doing one, two, three, four, five to go on each of the ribs, obviously, on each of the battens going down. I'm just marking them, spacing them equally. I've tried to do it in ways where they're going to be hidden by other things like the, the bulkhead wall or, you know, the, where, where the un, certainly underneath where part of this bit here is, is underneath where the... Um, Dinette is. So, right, where am I? I'm going to have to put in one more row along here. So, mark it out. I know all of these are in a line, so all I've got to do is mark out the length that I want to go to. So I want two more screws on one here, and then, actually, no, it's nearly at the bottom anyway, isn't it? So the last one's here, so I'll do it at 80. Yeah, because those were 87s. So that gives me a bit of clearance. The pilot hole first, and I'm going in with 32s. Um, these are 4.2 32s. So obviously it's a 9mm board, 25mm batten it's going into, so I've got 34mm to play with, so 32. Basically it's going all the way through, but it just means... tight so I wanted a lot of thread on the screws right, let's mark this next one out so I did that at 80 so get it in line mark out the 80 to create a bit of a uh, countersink for the screw head to go into the hardwood ply. Just gives it a little bit easier. Don't to splinter. nervous that the 9mm wasn't going to be strong enough in one way. I was also nervous it wasn't going to flex in the other way. So um, to be honest, it's a bit of both. It's as strong as it is, depending on how many screws and support you got behind it. But it does give a bit of flex. Yeah, that's definitely got a slight 
slight bend to it. But I'm happy with that. That's the shape of the boat, that's the shape of the boat. Okay, first wall panel is in. One of the jobs I need to do is to repair some of the spray foam insulation that's come out. So I've got here pseudo gap filling expanding foam. And the main reason I'm doing it now is because I'm putting the walls on. And on some of the walls where I've taken away some of the insulation to put on the battens, I need to repair that before I put the wall down. Now I'm not putting battens here, so it doesn't really matter so much. So I'm not putting wall here, because this is the galley, so it doesn't matter so much, but blimey, so shape this vigorously for 30 seconds. I've never used this before, so here we go. First time for everything. Right, unclip nozzle, use upside down. All right, there we go. And it just says like apply a thin layer and it will double up in size. So let's see. Okay. We're trying to go quite thin, it's like icing a cake. still coming out. How do I stop that coming out? I think there's a bun or something I've put in it. Oh shit. Uh, what does it say? Work upwards, when finished, detach bung from cap and insert at end of nozzle. Oh, right, okay, there. Right. Okay. Well, it's expanded quite a bit. How long does it say it takes to go off? There we go. Skin's over in about five to ten minutes, depending on conditions. It cures in about an hour and a half. Okay, well that was a test piece. I'll show you what it looks like. There you go, so that's the area I've just done. It's gone in quite easily. I this uh, yeah, it's probably twice the size as it was. Happy days. Okay, two sheets down. Because this stuff is eight foot long, put one sheet down, it makes a massive amount of difference. Huge impact. And there we have it. The first wall completed. All the way down to the end. So you have to cut this board a bit shorter. I'm actually happy with that. It's a nice, nice cut. So it fits in there so the bulkhead can go in. But, and I didn't really manage to get that curve that I wanted, as I showed, but I'm pretty happy with how it's gone in. It's got a slight curve, I don't know if he can really pick that out, but yeah, it's got a slight curve to it. But it feels really nice in here now, it's got walls down that side. Weirdly, it feels smaller. Also feels a little bit like a squash court. Certainly with those tram lines out there. Um, but yeah, it feels a bit smaller, but yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. 
I'm glad I went for that nine mil ply. It's really sturdy, it feels nice. It's got lots of lines of screws. I had a few issues with a couple of them going in, uh, hitting something behind it, but very happy with that. So tomorrow, Friday, I will crack on with the rest of, I bought the boards in, so they are here for the night to dry. I'm gonna lay them flat and sleep on them. Uh, that'll be my plan, because boards like to be flat. And then, oh yeah, here we go. That's what's happened to that foam. So it's really come out a heck of a lot. It was flush with my finger before, and it's really come out, so I might have to cut some of that back now. Uh, but I used it in filling up all the gaps a little bit like those gaps there where you can still see some exposed steel through there so I filled it up on there on all of those lines on those walls there well that's it for one night I think um, I've finished off the starboard side below the gunnels uh, lower walls um, so it's three sheets in total the third sheet had to be cut down in size a little bit so it fitted in um, but it went in fine um, the seam here, I don't know if you can see that. The seam between the two sheets, I've got to say I'm really happy with that. It's a perfect line. Um, obviously the screw holes are indented a little bit, so I'll fill them in. I'm going for a painted finish, so you're not going to see any of that stuff anyway, so I didn't have to worry too much about the quality of the finish. I'll sand some of those edges down a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with how that's gone in, so that's one done. I'll hopefully get the other wall um, on the port side done uh, tomorrow. Although tomorrow there is um, quite a lot of activity happening here on the wharf. Apparently there's some cranes coming, I've been reliably informed. So, or a crane coming, but it's gonna crane five boats. So that'd be quite fun to watch some of that. So I've got a lot to watch, but also a lot to do. So, <coughs> um, yeah. I need to crack on with these walls first thing in the morning. I also need to tackle the windows or certainly start a couple of them. Um, so yeah, quite a lot to still obviously crack on with, but I've got to say now the walls are in, just the, the, the feel, okay, on this side of the boat, the feel is really nice. Um, as I said, it does make it feel a tad smaller. Um, I guess in fairness, it technically is, I've lost what in some areas, looking at that wall, I've probably lost maybe three inches. So, um, you know, the, the, the edge has come in by three inches, but yeah, it's good. And the spray foam insulation, you know, the, the stuff I applied tonight, first time I've done that, but it was a bit weird to use, but um, it worked okay. Very hard to get a thin layer. I'm not sure if you can use like a, a, a pallet, um, afterwards so you can kind of manipulate it a little bit because it's not easy to control i mean that stuff i put on has now come out probably five inches so um yeah there's quite a lot of stuff there anyway um i'll have to use some more of that but you know but i used it quite sparingly on the rest of the walls so i've got loads left to finish off this um the port side wall later or tomorrow but um Thank you very much for watching. Hope this has been useful. See the first walls go up. And um, yeah, now it's really starting to take shape. So join me for next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.